On today's show, we're going to take a look at ordering a new Ford vehicle and some of the procedures and steps that you can do to ensure that you get the vehicle that you want. And uh, hopefully you find the dealership that you want to use. So if you're new to my channel, my name is David Boyd. I'm an auto journalist and uh, I like covering things like this and I uh, hope you uh, want to stay around for the fun. So let's get to this. Let's bring up this vehicle that I did order. And so this is Ford's website. This is the new 2024 Ford Mustang. That is right. We did order a new Mustang and we're going to have to do a build and price real quick. Now I'm going through this real quick. Uh, but I want to show you guys what I actually ordered. So we did not get the, uh, we went with the GT premium fastback. So we went with the rapid red and I'm just quickly going through this. We went through the automatic transmission because Kelly, uh, she can't drive manual, but she would, uh, we don't want to put a new clutch in it. So we're going to go with that. We're going with the 355 gearing. We did the premium 400A package. Now, you can go through this. I do have a video on me as breaking this down where I did order this vehicle. So if you're gonna, I'll put a link below if you're you know curious about it. But um, let's see, premium trims. No, no, we didn't do any of that. We did the performance package, definitely. All right, there is the Night Pony package. So we got that. And uh, Night Pony package just blackens out everything, gives you a dark roof as well. Now, some of these options, like this website is not 100% Ford. We'll do an update later at the end of the month, I believe. Didn't do any kind of crazy seat options. Didn't want to do anything like that. Getting all the dual zones, all the all the, all the funds with that. All right, so there is there is the uh, what we're going to do here. Now, what I want you to do from this is uh, you can save your build. If you can create an account with Ford, you can save it. But there is a way to print this. So, all right. So, we'll go up here and we're going to hit print. Now, you know, with printing, you can save as a PDF. So, we're going to save this as a PDF. But this is something that I can send to my, my dealer. Who? So, I'm not buying locally. I'm buying from a dealership in Michigan. So, uh, Brighton Ford's who we wanted to go with. And uh, we have a nice relationship with them up there. So I'm in Middle Tennessee. So remember, when you're ordering your vehicle, you can order any dealership across the country. You do not ha you're not stuck with your dealership locally. Maybe they're charging above MSRP on all their vehicles. So uh, do your research, find one. I know Brighton Ford for us was a, a good choice. They will not mark up their vehicles when you order from them. So we uh, we printed this out. So we're gonna hit save over there and. Uh, build our mustang there we go so now we've uh we've built that mustang and i emailed the dealership so what they do next is they place your order so let's jump into what they do and the, what you should see from them when you place your order so after i did my order with uh the dealership this is this is when they give it to their manager their order manager who submits the order and uh, schedules it this is what i got back so it gives you the all the sales codes here's uh the dealer rep here's me d boyd my priority code, which remember these priority codes, I know a lot of people freak out about this. They don't necessarily mean anything. Each dealership can use those priority codes for different. So don't ever stress out about, well, I got an 18 or I got a 11, 12. Talk to your dealership about it. They should, a good dealer should keep you informed with where you stand with your order. So as you can see here, this is a retail order, which means that I'm ordering this. It's not for their stock. It's a Mustang. It is a model year 2024. And it gives the price level and all that. The sales code, order code, this order code right here, this A01D or A01D, this is important for some of our next steps. So you're going to want to know this right here because uh, once we uh, once we get a buildable order, we can uh, go track it through the kind of the pizza order deal through Ford. But as you can see here, always review your order. Make sure that everything, everything that you got here is what you want it. So you can see that we're getting the GT Premium Crew in rapid red we're getting the leather seats the black onyx leather seats the equipment group 400a there's that big v8 that we want we're going to get that 10 speed automatic transmission the brakes the spoiler uh, uh calibers which is important to me the black painted roof which is part of the uh the night pony and uh you know all that destination delivery and all that and it should at the bottom it'll give you uh, a total on that now i've marked out my totals <clears throat> just for uh for reasons but as you can see here this is who we're ordering from, Brighton. It's going to be delivered to Brighton, Michigan. And it's Brighton Ford, so we uh, we ordered through. And it even tells you up here the time of that they've done everything. So I ordered this the day you could the order banks opened up. So I was early ordering. And next, I want to take in. I want to show you we have a VIN now. We have a buildable order. So I want to jump through this and and show you what what you can do on Ford.com again to check your status your order.
We can go over here to Ford.com. You can see there's if you're making your payments through Ford or however you can do it. They have a lot of uh, a lot of cool things here, but we want to check the status of an order. So we're going to go over here and it's going to give you this is where remember that uh, the little digit I told you the order number. So we can put that right there. As you can see, it pops in right there. And then I was emailed by my dealership. I have a buildable order. So they emailed me a VIN number and said, here, here's the VIN. And when you get a VIN number, that means you're going to be, you know, you're pretty close to getting a build date. Now I do know our build week is of, uh, it's in June, June 12th, the build, build week of June 12th. So there is the VIN. I am not a robot and we will go from there. So we're going to accept and track. There it is. All right. So this is what pops up. And this is the old pizza tracker that you've heard. I know some of my Bronco people in the past know about this. So it, it says right here, this is your 2024 Ford Mustang GT premium fastback. It's, your order has been confirmed. So you can see here, your order has been entered into the Ford ordering system and then will be scheduled in place for the first available production week. So once scheduled, a vehicle identification or VIN is estimated and estimated build date will be provided. Be sure to view the vehicle summary section to learn more about the features. So as you can see right here, here is the car that I ordered. Now, this is, uh, I will say their website, they still haven't updated Mustang completely just yet. So they got the order, order banks open. They give you a nice enough website that you can order the car, but they still, I will say Ford needs to uh, finish that, which I know they're supposed to do at the end of the month. So you can see down here, here's the color choices that I did, rapid red, the black interior. Here is my dealership, Brighton Ford out of Michigan. Brighton, Michigan there it gives you their address. And here is their website and a phone number that you can contact them if you have any issues. So you can do that. So my order number, once again, here was that number that we needed from the, your order sheet. And once they, once your dealership gets a VIN, there it is right there. There's my VIN. And it gives you the last update to this order, which was 413, which was, uh, I believe, last Thursday. And that's when I've got a scheduled week of. Now, it does not say that up here just yet, but my dealership has emailed me the schedule date. And it is uh, June 12th, the week of June 12th. Now, this will pop up. Once you get closer to this, you will start seeing a lot of this stuff pop up. And it's kind of fun. And it's also kind of uh, annoying because I know with Bronco, the order, it moves so slow. You would check this thing every day and just felt like nothing would happen. You were just pulling your hair out because nothing would happen. But remember, once you get this VIN, you will have a build date. So I don't want anybody because there will be people out there that order a Ford vehicle and they're like, well, I don't have a VIN just yet. Keep in good contact with the dealership. Don't bug your dealer about it every day. They A good a good salesperson should uh, keep you informed and uh, you know send you the information as, as they know. Because these vehicles, when they get buildable dates, they should know by, I believe it's Monday or Tuesday, they get a preview of what's to come for the week. So they know that, oh, your order is going to pop. Here's, you know, usually it's on Thursdays with Ford is when those orders pop. So if you ever want to check with your dealership, I would always check on a Thursday to see if your uh, vehicle is being built or if you got a scheduled week. So next up, what we will see here is the little green dot will pop up here for schedule week. I already know the, the week of, but I have a feeling Ford's going to wait to update that till they get closer to June. And then once you see this in production, that means you're you're ready to go. That means it's being built. You should, after a couple of days, should get a build a little green dot there where it will be built and then you will get a ship now from building to shipping this is not amazon so i, I want to be very clear about this have have patience because there's there's still we're you know we're out of the pandemic but there's still a lot of shipping issues i know the, all the truck drivers and stuff they're worked to death they're trying to get your vehicles to where they're supposed to be but they're uh, a lot of them are behind so uh just have some patience there but once it says shipped that's when I would start calling my dealership and making preparations for, uh, you know, hey, should we go ahead and get financing out of the way? You know, be sure if you're had your down payment, whatever you're doing, have your get your information ready. If you're going through your own credit union, your own bank, you know, have that done. Get ready because your vehicle is about to get here. So I'm going to update this video as we go along. So if you're, um, you know, once these little green tabs, we will go back through some of this stuff. And I will keep you informed of how this works. So in the comments below, let me know what you think. Are you interested in ordering a vehicle? Uh, if so, let me know what vehicle you're interested to order. And I will say each manufacturer does this a little bit differently. But uh, it's also at the same point, it's pretty similar. So, uh, you know, let me know what you think. So whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or this Mustang, I cannot wait to drive. This has been your All-Terrain Nation. We've been building vehicles and uh, talking about how to build those vehicles and order them. We're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.